Turn Right Machine Works. My name is Keith. Today we're opening up the box for another viewing and uh, I'm going to go ahead and show you what came in the other day that I put in here and then we'll come in and we're going to highlight everything that's in the box. So here's a glimpse of what came in the other day. Alright, let's open up a box, put a few tools in it. And the first one we're going to grab here in the United States Postal. And uh, this is kind of funny because, um, actually I opened the inside one there too. But this was double wrapped by the post office. And uh, it, I, I think basically it just got jostled around in the mail. And what happened is um, it got crunched and slid. Um, and then the scale actually, uh, and that's what's in here, is a uh, the first scale that goes in the toolbox. Keith, here's a little something for the box. Bill Boschkong? Bosch? No. <laughs> Can it? Well. William Lunham. Bashon Washington. All right, Bill. Thanks. Oh, he's up by the Fusion Sound, too. Actually, you know, all my exes live in Washington. All right, we got a US, uh, USA Steel scale. And I'm, peel I'm peeling the tape off of here before it dries on there. All right, and we got uh, 50ths and 100ths on that side, and 30 seconds and 64ths on this side. Very nice scale. It's a nice addition, uh, Bill. Thank you. Supply Center, Ben Salem, Pennsylvania. What's in your giveaway box written right on the outside? Uh, thanks for the business card. I like, uh, you know, I, I try to do that when I put something in the mail myself there. Uh, John Steppen, National Direct Packing. He just wanted to donate a little something to help out the deserving upcoming machinist uh, box giveaway. The uh, book was given to me some years ago. I am not a machinist but an automotive tech mechanic and know my way around Mike's uh, verniers, uh, dial indicators, etc. I can build blueprint engines, transmissions, rear ends, electrical wiring, and whatnot. Just wanted to say thanks for your videos on YouTube. I've learned so many things from you. A true machinist does his job with such high quality. Thanks again, John. Thank you, John, for the comment and, uh, and uh, the gift. Let's see what you put in here. Machinist Ready Reference. Awesome. Tap sizes, kind of already written down there in the middle. St. Louis, uh, Missouri. Copyright 1974. Printed in the United States of America. How to use this book. Instructor, all right, cool. Contents, decimal equivalents, table of squares and square roots, angle centers, coordinate constants. A lot of good stuff in here. Areas of plane, distance across corners, hexagon squares, useful mathematics, trigonometry functions, properties of circles, formulas. This is awesome. This is awesome. Also, uh, Barth, uh, you know, there, there's, you know, this is, 
this is a, like a little short memory book on the machinist handbook and, and uh, sometimes it's just a little little different way to look at it by a different author uh, and uh, it's kind of neat I just wanted to hit that off of you you know while I was looking at this grind abilities weights measures that's pretty cool John <laughs> There it is. I'm going to put your uh, your card right in there for a, uh, a placemaker or a page marker. I think somebody said to comment, by the time we get there, we're going to need a bigger box. <laughs> I had... I had a truck driver come in today and he goes, that old box? <laughs> okay, he's, he's, he's a truck driver. I wish I was a better reader. This would probably sound better. I didn't know what I was getting myself into here. Um, hi Keith. Got the Turn Right Machine Works hat I ordered the other day. I'm very impressed with the, my purchase. It's a really nice hat and I think uh, you could easily charge a few more bucks for it and nobody would complain. Well, you know, did you put those? <laughs> uh, I, I bumped into your YouTube channel a couple uh, weeks ago and have been enjoying the videos and some of your varied projects. One that caught my attention was the Toolbox Giveaway Series. That, what a brilliant idea. I know from personal experience that it means to have a mentor give you a tool. I'm very interested to see how this develops and how the deserving apprentice is selected. Please find, include a couple of nice new old stock tools that I want to contribute to the box giveaway. It was instilled in me by my mentors that we only rent the knowledge for a little while and part of our responsibilities as journeymen is that we pass on the knowledge and give it back to the younger generation coming up. Your video and toolbox giveaway are excellent examples of this kind of thinking. Not enough people are getting involved in manufacturing and repairing work industries. Hopefully some may discover a rewarding craft because of the internet access to skills and experience of people like yourself and that are willing to share them. A little background about me. Career metal worker is the best description. I was lucky that I found what I love to do early in life. Started out welding and sheet metal, progressing into machine work and machine design. Managed an engineering shop, job shop, building custom machinery for 18 years then wrote a book about it. Sink or Swim Metal Working is the title. <laughs> now I work in the scientific community supporting all kinds of research in the fields of ion accelerators and superconducting magnets. I will, I will get to play in the shop once in a while when it gets uh, when it when it's gotta get done. I have two shiny new technician apprentice which are cutting their teeth right now at, on the basics uh, machine work. I pointed them to your channel and told them he is a real old school guy that gets shit done. Pay attention. I have my own full shop at home and work on all kinds of machines and welding related projects for fun. Only which I write about on the blog. Check it out at oxtoolblogspot.com. I have always been keenly interested in how other folks do things. I, I think there is something to be learned from pretty much anybody if you're paying attention. I've learned that. You will be pleased to know that up until recently I have always been a black sharpie guy. After watching a few of your videos I have seen the light. 
I've converted and have gone completely blue sharpie. I guess I never had enough blue ones around to realize the advantages. Thanks for that one. Kind regards. Tom Lumpton. <laughs> uh. Keith, these are for you. Thanks, Tom. <laughs> A case of Sharpies, all right. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, see what you got in here. The wife know you got the saran wrap? <laughs> well, you did a good wrapping job. That's a pretty nice mic there. Yeah, you put the paper in between there. Um, you should never really, your one inch, one inch mic is about the only one that actually closes the anvil, but you should never close anvil to anvil and let your mic sit there because you'll have rust build up in between there, uh, even if uh, you don't quite see it. Um, now this is great. Got a pretty good feel to it. I'm going to leave the packing in there because uh, it's going to be going somewhere. Um, that's cool, Mike. Protractor depth gauge. That's pretty neat. So stare it. Now you have a protractor here, but then you can also read your depth gauge right off of that, right off the sharp edge right here. That's cool. Or off of your straight edge over here. Either way, you'd be able to go ahead and you can actually, you could use it multiple different ways whether you're coming off of there or off of the end. It's a nice slide in there. I will have close-ups of every tool that's in this box by the end of the series. That's pretty cool. Thank you, Tom. <laughs> uh, that's a good surprise. If I can get this back in here, too. <laughs> My name is Pascal Burrell. Burrell. Pascal, um, I'm from Quebec, Canada. This is my contribution for the toolbox. That's some varieties of carbide end mills. For the last 12 years, I have been machinist on conventional and CNC milling machines. But now I'm on a school choir until May. I'll be a highway truck driver on the U.S. roads. I will try to meet you at your shop if I pass through Cape Cod. Have a nice day. Pascal, I hope I pronounced that right. You know, I... 
That's where I curse my uh, my English. Sorry for my mis my spelling, love. Well, sorry for my speaking. <laughs> I'm not the best English writer, and I'm not the best English speaker. Niagara Cutters. Three footed ML. Long Reach. Drill Max. Spot drill. There's a pretty good little assortment right there, that's for sure. I'm not going to get into playing with each one of them, but uh, every one of them is carbide. Half inch, 3 sixteenths, 1 eighth, 1 quarter, 3 eighths. 330 seconds, 3 eighths, half inch, 3 eighths. Well, now the toolbox is going to get heavy, all right? Now, I, um, I haven't been doing it yet, but I will be going ahead and creating a pricing on the tools that's coming in here so that we get a good idea of what the value of this box is. Alright we had a late drop off here and uh, this was from John Peters over at Apple Machine in Falmouth or he's just right near Falmouth. He's over in Falmouth County there the other side of the Cape there, Canal side of the Cape and he brought my, uh, well he came over for some cutouts on the uh, uh, plasma table that I was able to help him out with and he uh, dropped off this uh, coaxial indicator all of the contacts and tips are all right here uh, this is uh, I, I held this up with my other uh, the my Lufkin that I have or my Fowler and very very uh, comparable. I, I wouldn't be able to choose between the two of them. And I have a couple other phase two products and this seems to be a very nice product and a very nice case uh, to go along with it. So here's, uh, here's a late entry uh, into the box there this weekend and uh, John also, I put uh, tape with everybody's name on all the stuff in here so we really know, but this is a mill stop clamp for a uh, Kurt style vise and uh, we're going to put this in the uh, machinist tool chest as well and we're going to drop it in there alright there's a quick glimpse of the last uh, tools going into the box here uh, this episode and uh, let's close her up the uh, we've got the one entry that I've already put in the the first one in the pool and that was for West Texas Hope Retraining Center and that was uh, that was nominated by Joseph Lorenzen I believe is, uh, is the name there and uh, we have that in the pool already and uh, I'm gonna go through some more here that that have come in during this last week uh, even I think one came in yesterday or this morning there as well and we're going to go through this little pile here so in the description of the video if you didn't stop and read that has the links for everybody I'm going to try to start putting the, the 
the links in the video itself but uh, for right now at least we know that they can guarantee you can be guaranteed to find the links to find these people or where they say they can uh, be caught at or located uh, you communicate see what's up uh, I think I have one that that has a Gmail and uh, possibly has a YouTube channel or whatever through Gmail and uh, doesn't have any pictures or anything and it doesn't have a Facebook but uh, we'll come across that um, all right this first one is from uh, Denise Chepet Chepet I believe is the pronunciation and uh, says hello Mr. Fenner after seeing your videos many many times when my husband finishes using my tablet I would like to nominate him for your giveaway <laughs> all right uh, he, he is a mechanic waller service tech with a couple of trades and is a self-taught machinist he has owned an old Logan lathe for 20 years and just recently upgraded to a new 14 by 40 King. His tooling must be a little lacking because I commonly hear, honey, I need. I'm very certain he would give those tools a great home. You can see what he does on Facebook page and his Facebook page is listed in the uh, uh, description there. His name is Colin Chipet. You can probably also find him by his name on Facebook. Alright Denise. We'll, uh, we're going to look at uh, his uh, Facebook page there and uh, guys, um, you know, do I throw him in the pool? Let me know. And uh, Colin, uh, you've been nominated. Uh, let's, uh, <laughs> let's put something new on your Facebook there. Let us know why uh, you're worthy uh, of the tools there, please. All right, this next one is from uh, B. Jen. And I'm going to just sneak down here, and it's Bart Jenkins. And uh, he says, Mr. Fenner, watched all your videos and have enjoyed each and every one. I am not a machinist in any way, but I do love to dabble with metal and have enjoyed it for years. Most of the projects I tackle are for family members and friends. But one day, I would like to purchase a lathe and milling machine and do some work for the general public. Nobody in my family was ever a machinist, so it has been a step learning curve for me. I did, however, take the first step and purchase a used machinist handbook and try to read in it every night to gain some knowledge about different kinds of metals and what they are used for. I know I've heard you speak of 8620 metal for the Keyway stock in the giveaway third video. I took the took that little piece of knowledge and entered it into the machinist handbook for the future reference. Like any person that enjoys building, I am a tool junkie, so the more tools that I have, the more I build, laughing out loud. I uh, am currently in process building a smoke cooker and have it sitting in my backyard close to the garage door, and I have honestly say that it has been a chore building it. The top and bottom are coned and it took me a few days to figure it out. I was going to cut the pie shaped piece of the metal out of the 12 gauge and pull it together so it would cone one inch in the top. Being that I have limited resources in metal handling I took a long approach and cut out with a jigsaw, welded some nuts on the top and took some all thread and pulled it together which I don't recommend in case it breaks loose. Lots of force. Once I'm complete with that project though I do have some jigs to build for my table saw and having some of those tools in a chest would come in quite handy especially the combination square and magnetic base with the dial indicator I can honestly say that if I should win the tool ch chest will definitely be used and will have many years of use and quality care and uh, he had a question down in here about the, uh, the writing in the comments and, and characters and stuff like that. And, uh, and it's just like uh, Denise, I don't think she has a uh, uh, YouTube channel and, and be able to write in the comments. So, you know, she can't. And, and uh, Barth, I, uh, I, uh, I think you're, you're set. I'm going to go ahead and, and the Gmail to 
you got my box at gmail.com. You bring in a nomination, I'm gonna end up I'm gonna this <laughs> this is a far cry from just making a comment and having a voting and and then worrying about somebody cheating on the vote and, and everything else. So now now I'm uh, I'm actually uh, having to make this a little personal, which is taking a little bit more time. And that's kind of why I was lagging a little bit on getting a, a, a video out here. Um, but uh, we're gonna we're gonna make it through this, guys. Um, all right. Um, and uh, um, Bart doesn't have a anything up on the YouTube channel or whatever. Uh, he did send me a small picture of the barbecue he built. Um, but uh, you know we need. There's a couple questions that people would probably like, and, and uh, Ben's uh, uh, email address and I'll, is uh, Gmail, and uh, and I'll put that up on the description there as well. Um, but it's bjenkins2005 at gmail.com, and um, uh, you can give me some feedback on Barth there. Um, you know, uh, how old are you, Barth? Um, you still in school? Um, you know, kind of what your plans are going. I know you said uh, you don't have a lathe or a mill, um, and uh, it, I mean, uh, this is a machinist tool chest, and uh, um, you know we, we're we're heading in that direction there. So anyway, uh, I've, I've got you listed there, and we're going to get some feedback from uh, the uh, viewers out there. All right, our next nominee is uh, nominated by Kevin Losi. I believe is his name, and uh, Kevin is a uh, uh, NIACC instructor at Tool and Die at North Iowa Area Community College, and uh, and Kevin uh, says I would like to nominate a student of mine that is currently in his first year of our Tool and Die program by the name of Michael Peterson. Mike is a non-traditional student that is also a vet that is trying to go back to school late in life. The VA keeps jerking them around. Uh, I, I, uh, we're we're not building the box on hardships, and I've stated this in in the past for a, a couple other viewers there. Um, you know, here here in fact, actually, the donors and stuff like that, and that have been given the boxes, and they're all like, we're hoping uh, a young apprentice, uh, you know, take on. That was kind of the aura or the the sense that most of the people uh, would like to see there. But I don't think when it comes to vets, there's an exception there because they jumped on the line and have put it all out for us when they were young. Now they're coming back and they need a fair, sh you know, they need us. They need. They need. That is their start. That's the start in life. They already took a break. So that you could have the life you have right now, um, but we don't need to build it on hardships. All right. Um, uh, the VA keep. We already read that. All right. He currently has a suitcase that he had some tools that were his father's blacksmithing tools. I can say that he treats all of his tools with respect that many younger students do not. I have been letting Mike use many of my tools. I know that it would be taken care of and much appreciated. Wonderful thing you're doing, whomever gets it. Thanks, Kevin. Um, I emailed Kevin back and, and uh, asked him if we can we can have some photos or, or some some kind of viewing or a video or whatever. I I have the link of the college and I put that up there uh, for you. Um, but it, you know we need you know. Even though we're coming from a college, and and, and uh, this is um, uh, kind of, kind of like a blind look, you know, all we get is your college av av um, thing. I would like to have some input there, um, photos and things like that, maybe of you guys in the classroom, and uh, you know, getting some things done. Um, and also too, that's a uh, uh, you know, Joseph is the. the um, uh, I, I, I know you have the website there for the the uh, organization there, the Texas, uh, West Texas Hope Retraining Center. Um, I'm going to put you, you're both in, in here, 
But uh, it wouldn't hurt to send in a little feedback of what's going on and, and things like that. Uh, uh, we'll get it. We'll get it up into the rest of the videos there. And um, uh, Michael Peterson, you're you're uh, uh, you're in. You're nominated uh, by Kevin, and I'm putting you uh, in the uh, the the drawing already. And uh, uh, looking forward to seeing some pictures uh, come from your way there. All right, <clears throat> next one here is from Mark Bates. And uh, Mark says, Keith, I've emailed you on a few occasions about different things and we are friends on Facebook. Let me start off by saying that I've taken a long time to write this email because I'm a humble person and I'm having a hard time determining whether I'm worthy of such great tools, set of tools. I'm a machinist and love it to death. I don't think I'll ever get metalworking machining out of my blood. At the time I was offered this job, I was working in an aerospace manufacturing facility. Too much politics. Um, I can. I, <laughs> there's all kinds of different machinists, and uh, uh, and I, I'm from the shipyards, you know, machining mentality, and uh, and and I have occasionally on layoffs had to go and. And, and do whatever it can do for work because I'm not going to sit on the unemployment line. I'm just, I hated doing that. Um, so I would have to go play in another field. And uh, it, yeah, yeah, it is. Each field has got their, their own um, uh, politics uh, in it. And that's fine. Anyway, uh, I was five years, it, it was five years ago today that I started this job. So we've been in the job for five years. That's good. I have made things out of metal that I didn't even think were possible. My work buys some tools, but the most part I buy my own. If the time comes when I want to move on to the next place, I have my own tools to take and not to depend on the boss to supply me. So I would like to nominate myself. I have learned so much from watching not only your channel, but others similar to yours. Welding Tips and Tricks, Haas Machine, Donald Crossett, uh, Mr. Pete, and so many others. I hope to one day be able to do the same for others that are doing for people today. Thank you for doing this. It means so many, so much to many people out there. Mark Bates. All right, Mark. Yeah, I think uh, on Mark's address or uh, email address, I think on Mark's uh, Facebook there, I, I looked in uh, AJ Sackets or something like that is uh, the name of the company he works for, and um, I, I uh, I'm feeling a drive there, so I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna put you in, Mark. All right, I found my little uh, notes here, and uh, this is from uh, direct. Kochebi. Um, it says, Hello Keith, my name is Barack Kochebi. I am a mechanical engineer from Israel. I watched all of your videos at least once and loved every one of them. You are really an artist. Thank you. Today I watched the videos of the guy and uh, the link is in here, but the, gray, the guy is Greg Halligan and it shows his, uh, his video. I want to offer him uh, as a what's in your box candidate. Please watch his videos and see what he says, has to say, especially in 854 or in 818. I'm sure you can give him guidance and tips. Again, I want to tell you that your videos are excellent in terms of editing and explanations that you give. Thanks for everything with great appreciation. All right. Um, I, I did watch his video and I, I uh, uh, was very interested in, and I also, um, <laughs> what, huh? Anyway, uh, he, uh, he, he's on the end list there. I, I was, um, uh, happy with his video, and also, too, um, and coming along with the rest of uh, what I'm going to be uh, coming into with the the um, 
Shanann, huh? You're interrupting. You're interrupting. Hmm? You're putting hair all over the place and, and footprints. Hmm? <laughs> Clown? <laughs> We're on pause. We're on a break here. Well, you know, the camera's on, so you gotta get up, huh? Huh? What's up? Okay, are you out of here? Alright. Alright, um... Alright. Alright, um, we're going to go ahead and um, put Greg uh, Halligan in um, the, uh, the pool for the drawing. And uh, we're looking forward to uh, more videos there, uh, Greg. And, uh, and I, uh, I enjoyed watching your video there uh, explaining uh, who you are and what you're about. And that's what I was really looking for. And that's why you're in here others that are being nominated or nominating themselves um you know you 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 gotta project why you're worthy of the box all right and remember it's not a hardship all right uh, i don't know it was probably a month ago um i got an email in and uh, it was uh, just labeled engineering and design and this is from uh, paul kastner he says, Keith, uh, my name is Paul Kastner. I've come across, come to love your videos and have spent many hours learning uh, all that I can from them. I enjoy playing the game series so much that I decided to watch them over and over, writing down every dimension from both old part and the new that I could possibly find. See, Keith, I am a middle-aged vet who spends years flying all different kinds of planes all over the world until I became sick and I could no longer fly. You are the only individual that I have contacted regarding my idea. I'm currently finishing a degree in mechanical engineering here in Arkansas at UALR and have already obtained a science degree in computer-aided design and love every aspect of it. He has no interest in working with the big corporations, but uh, he's eager to work with small machine shops and hobbyists like himself who seek some help in putting their ideas to 3D and onto paper. I have personally built two kit planes uh, in my small workshop and could have used someone of your skills and services many times in the past. Believe me, I know that this is not a way to get rich. I just love engineering and design. All right, so I'll post uh, his email and, um, you know, it, here's, here's a, another vet um, uh, trying to pick up some bucks and... Um, you know, uh, I also, uh, I just wanted to give you a quick look, um, and I'll copy and paste and post uh, this drawing here that he went ahead. And uh, when you look at this, and uh, if you remember that video series, it's how you look playing the game, uh, you'll, you'll know that, um, you know, it's pretty serious. I mean, he <laughs> I, was, I was impressed all right with how detailed this drawing was by a video and verbal description all right this kind of means that he's he's getting her done all right i just want to do uh you know besides the tools that are put into this box here there are specific cash donations made to pick up tools and uh when you send them in you label your your uh, your your cash donations as uh, as toolbox uh, giveaways. Uh, Hi Keith, pitching in fifty bucks for the giveaway box. Just uh, watch your recent video and want to contribute what I can. Got plenty of tools here uh, that I don't know what to do with, so I won't be entering the drawing myself. Tim, this is from uh, Timothy, good boy, and um, so anyhow. We're going to take that, you know, I, I got a little pool building and uh, we're, uh, we're, we're, we're going to be taking those and, and put them in a pool. And I thought maybe I'd chip in to, you know, and pick up one of the uh, 
um, coaxial indicators, but uh, uh, John Peters came over and beat us to that. And uh, the other P, uh, uh, Roger Delmont um, contributed a hundred bucks for it. And he said, I, li I would like to participate in the toolbox project, but it's not really feasible to ship someone out here. So I'm sending a PayPal contribution of a hundred bucks. We'll leave it up to your discretion to pick up something appropriate. All right, so really appreciate your efforts, especially enjoyed the Broken Beaver series. Oh, by the way, love the new descriptions of the donation levels. This is a lot of talking, by the way. Um, yeah, I'll make it up and have a good, interesting uh, machining video. How's that? This is from uh, Joseph Hall. Uh, and uh, Joseph's... Uh, He's, uh, he says, uh, thanks for sharing your expertise and skills on YouTube. I'm hooked and inspired. A donation of the course is on its way. I came across your site with which doing research on, on Beaver MK2 mills and found the Broken Beaver video. <laughs> I am looking to buy a second-hand hobby mill and the Beaver may be the alternative, uh, alternative to a Bridgeport, which seems to command a much higher price. Having spent the last 12 years behind the desk, I find myself drawn back hands-on tools. 35 years ago, I started out as a 16-year-old engineer apprentice, learning how to weld, run a mill, lathe, shaper, etc., before specializing in sheet metal and fitting uh, for the aerospace industry. The broad-based trained has taken me all over the world all over the world this you know his skills have taken him okay um, including California now I reside in the west coast of Scotland all right I applaud your efforts to share the, your education and to show the youngster generation that there is still value in learning the trade and skill there is a tremendous trend developing amongst the youth in the UK that without a university degree you have no future engineering skills is dying out fast and we look upon uh, as a dirty last option. Your videos show how interesting and satisfying it can be to repair or manufacture something using the ingenuity to solve the problem with what you have at hand. The toolbox is a great uh, toolbox giveaway is a great idea. I still have some treasure tools and books passed on to me by my floor shop floor mentor. Uh, if you get around to it, create a uh, Best of Keith Fenner's uh, DVDs, I would be glad to add to the collection along with slides, uh, Ron Corvell's Fabrication Series and Marshall Burroughs uh, Machine Shop Secrets. I've even do my own YouTube vid once I get the shop set up. And that, you know, you, I'm, I'm glad uh, you should, uh, uh, Joseph. Um, you know, and... And it's not just the UK that is uh, is going through this. It is worldwide. Uh, people thinking that you're going to uh, because everybody wants to go to college. They want to they want to go to college and get out and be the boss. And um, and I tell you the the best way to be the boss is still being able to handle every job from the bottom to the top and the only way you can get there is from here to there uh, you go here and you're gonna miss a lot of what's in between there and uh, you're, you're, you're I, I, I think your success rate is 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 faltered there alright we're gonna go into the computer and I'm gonna bring up my analytics and we're gonna get a good look at some numbers. You, you guys have generated my numbers and thanks for the congratulations on uh, uh, what I hit uh, 10,000 subscribers um, and it, you know it's it's just a fluke because uh, you know I created a YouTube channel to be customer awareness and now it's worldwide awareness and and we're all uh, uh, you know we're really being aware of who and what's happening with the trade and that there are a lot of people out there that are sharing their experience and their knowledge and their skills on uh, on the videos and I'm getting I'm getting a lot of little videos back where you know you'll have this little video that you might be doing in your shop or whatever and uh, some of those are kicking back and it's really cool um, but I also have 
because of all the numbers that I do have and the amount of views that are logged in, YouTube has a way of mapping these out. And I'm going to take you in and we're going to be looking at some of the mapping that has to do with um, the percentage of viewing, the age of viewing, and how many are viewing. And all of those together will give us an idea of why the trade is failing or what we need to do to create a stronger trade or share more or keep something alive here. Okay, uh, we come here to my YouTube channel. I'm going to take my analytics and we're going to log on to my analytics. We're going to click on here to views and we're going to go ahead and slide this up. This is 30 day reading right here okay and I have uh, this is my channel analytics 286 videos I have I created my first video on March 27th of 2011 for those of you that don't know I have accumulated with your help 2,782,935 views now we're using those views to put across a point here of the machinist welding industry as a job shop machine shop and, and all, all those as a job shop and where the interest is at in relationship to the age and the viewers that uh, I have now this is only my site so I mean if we were to take my numbers and then add them to Mr. Pete's numbers and and uh, um, uh, my Ford and all all the other guys that are out there and and combined all the numbers together we'd have probably a better survey but I wanted to open the door and show you mine and what I'm you know where I'm going at with where the interest is at and why everybody in every country is suffering from uh, the lack of industry because it's all just depleting uh, except for maybe in China maybe it's really uh, 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 heads up there it's, it's very very hard because there's no information coming from there and a couple other countries as well um, but we're not we're, we're not here to discuss that um, we're we're basically going to go ahead and the reason why I was saying that is this is the map in, of the world and right here is a color chart here and the darker the color the more views I have in that in that country like the US is 237 uh, 100,000 and Canada has got like 38,480 uh, over here in Great Britain I'm just kind of hitting the top viewers here that are in the in the list of, of uh, demographics and 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 we'll come to that in a second so you got 40 43,000 uh, and and all the way across all of all of Europe every one of these little countries some of them the little finger is actually bigger than than the country Spain Portugal and all the way across uh, Africa here we got Egypt and uh, Saudi Arabia we come on down all the way down into South Africa over here in Brazil you know I'm not gonna I'm not trying to hit each one or compare numbers I'm just letting you know the only ones these like light yellow ones here there is no internet or um, allowed allowable watching look at that actually I have one view up there in uh, Greenland now I I've never had one up there until just now um, Iceland uh, Russia's got 7,015 um, China's got four when I very first started I had one and then I had none for a long time um, and uh, I have four now Japan is Taiwan Laos, Thailand, Indonesia, 
Then we got Philippines here, okay. Australia, New Zealand. All right, just a, that was just a quick run around there, and and I'm not trying to skip over anybody. Every they're all 100% important. I thought it was really super neat. I found this just the other day uh, that I can actually look at the globe in this fashion. All right, so back to the line chart here, and basically this is the last 30 days, and each one of these is a, a day of views. Now let's let's go ahead and we're gonna run it right to demographics here, and I'm gonna move the screen up here so that we have everything coming into play here. Make sure that we get it all in here. All right, right now the graph up here is showing 100% of of the world at the last 30 days. Now you look at here. This is age groups: 13 to 17, 18 to 24, 25 to 34, 35 to 44. 45 to 54, 55 to 64, and 65 plus. And those ages are right here in this graph down here as well. And here's just United States, United Kingdom. This is in order of the most popular ones, uh, the top 10 uh, numbers for my viewers for my, my channel. Now, you see how little we have here in the age group of 13 to 17 now that's you know that's in the high school on up uh, you know middle school to high school where people are really kind of starting to think about what they might want to be doing uh with their with their life 18 to 24 right there is the apprenticeship age and uh really leading off with whatever you're going to want to be in uh what do you want to do for your life? And this is where you would be um, starting a job. And, you know, th this is in my mind anyway. All right. Uh, 25 to 34. All right. This should be, you should already be a journeyman by this age right here. In my mind, as far as looking at my trade. And then your 35 to 44 would be where you were a lead man, foreman. You would actually become, you know, you're getting your seniority, your knowledge, your experience is all up there. Your strength, you're in your spry. This is where you should be taking charge. All right. And at 45 to 55, you, you know, you're pretty well top dog supervisor type material. And 55 to 64, you know, you're, you're, you're still up there at the top and you're, you're thinking about retiring. All right. And this right here is where you, you, you should be able to, or at least when I was growing up and when I first started back here in this time period right here, this person right here um, got to kick back and, and had uh, retirement uh, that was given by companies and things like that. that. That's way, that's long gone now, all right? And, and you know, you, you, you pretty well got to fend for yourself by the time you get to that age. It's pretty sad. And, how many, you know, when the economy dropped out, everybody that had supposedly saved income and everything else and it was invested in all the, it, you know, it, what it was, it was a big crap shoot. And somebody took a crap and, and you lost everything you got right there. Um, this area right here, that's where we need to that we need to correct that to gain our industry back and um, what it was it take to gain us back I think it has it takes communication and the communication gap from this age group and from this age group is the main problem all right now I'm probably rambling on here but let's just go ahead and I'm I've already kind of researched this out. But right here, Poland. Poland has got the highest poll possible out of all all the countries that are on my top ten that watch my videos. Poland has got the most uniform scale here of about one and a half percent thinking about what's going on for their career and they're thinking in the in the industry and then 18 to 24 you got almost five percent of the population is thinking about 
industry and, and working uh, in the machine trade welding and this and that. In, in my eyes, if I this graph here, uh, 25 to 34, you know, there's 14 and a half percent. All right. And these aren't quite as high here because there's more spread out throughout here. All right. This is telling me that more of this part of the population is communicating with more of this part of the population. All right. Let me go back here to <laughs> sad states. Um, United States. Same thing, hardly anything down in here. Okay? But I mean, all of us, you know, I'm, well, I'm right between these two right now is my trade. All right? What, we're carrying, I'm the last. You know, this is, you know, does it look like much is coming in here? No, we need to build this up right in here. All right, United Kingdom, same thing. Canada, same thing. Germany, same thing, even farther out here. And I'm surprised, you know, uh, Germany, you know, that I expected this to be a little bit more as well. Australia, a little bit more down, down in these, you know, this one's still lagging, but you're picking up a little bit, 18 to 24. We've seen Poland, Sweden. Sweden did shift it a little bit f farther. Uh, you know, the, right after about 25 years old, then, you know, you got 13, 14% of the people that are trying to get back into the trade there or taking an interest in it. Here's the Netherlands. Still the same thing. Hardly anything up here. You know, all the way until about 35. Italy. There's France. All right, now if we go ahead and we take and uh, let's go ahead and take, make this a lifetime reading. L lifetime reading, it just switches it a little bit. Okay, we, we covered the analytics, kind of a graph. It's not written in stone, but it is some it is some figures, you know. I got to looking at it, and I thought it was worthwhile to bring uh, the 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 bit of information there. So we're we're missing we're missing a little communication in there, and uh, we're also you know over the years we've always said, hey, you want to make sure that our kids don't have to do that, and now they don't do anything. Um, uh, three ortho man gave me a video to uh, recommended a video to watch and I watched it in Central Texas Tools and it's, uh, its creator was Bob Phillips uh, his site is Texas County Reporter um, he does he does real nice work uh, real nice video I gotta compliment him on that and uh, the video is right up the alley on what I think is missing uh, what we left behind with the old industry is still alive there in Texas and, and I think it should be an example uh, for us to uh, get back on track of. Uh, it's not, not, I'm not saying get back on flat belts and that kind of thing. It's the attitude, the workmanship, the, the environment that's the key, it's the key part. Um, comments, uh, please keep them polite. Uh, non abrasive comments. Um, work shirts, uh, Everybody's been wanting one, and uh, uh, Paul Boulay, he uh, he sent sent up a check there for the uh, the closing part that I made for the uh, feed rod. Everything's great on that, and he said his vote is get her done on the pocket, and I think most people want that. Uh, send me how many you want um, and uh, your size, so I can make a uh, odds and in order, and that's how I'm going to order them. Uh, I'll have to wait till I get like a dozen people and I'll put them in there so we get a certain price on them um, and, and I'll, it'll be semi-custom. Uh, so, you know, an email 
and a, uh, a heads up uh, quantity you want and uh, uh, and <clears throat> I should be getting some updated uh, information on the on the pricing of them and then I'll be able to answer that probably next week um, also right now in screen uh, screen printing is is uh, creating the the new t-shirts and they're gonna be about the giveaway and they're gonna have my logo on the back and across the chest it's gonna say what's in your box and they're gonna be khaki uh, short sleeve and long sleeves and uh, so I'm planning pushing putting a push to get those out here soon so that uh, the funding can help keep the project moving and uh, pay for uh, the, the transport and, and a couple other things and I would really like to I got a few things that I got to build for the drawing and I'm really thinking about streaming it live uh, so anyhow that's kind of what's in the plans get her done